So I wasn't really going to make a video about this, but 2020 was really hard. And I do think that it would have been way harder if it hadn't been for these two guitars and you, which I'll get to in a minute. But it didn't start out that way. I mean, 2020 started off awesome. You know, work was great. I had decided that I wanted to start another YouTube channel and it was going to be about just the pure love and enjoyment of the electric guitar. Um, it, was, it was just exciting. And one year ago, exactly to the day of me releasing this video, I posted a video called Sweetwater and Gibson Ruined My Life. I had no idea that that would change my life. And the success of that video gave me a lot of joy, a lot of excitement. You know, I didn't start this YouTube channel um, to have tons and tons of subscribers. It wasn't about being YouTube famous or being well known for playing guitar, none of that stuff. It was just about a community of people who love guitar. And I was excited about the fact that people responded to it. I thought, well, okay, maybe I have something to offer this space. Maybe I can contribute to the YouTube guitar world. And so I kept making videos and then, and then the world ended. And so did most of my work just in a couple of days, it was just gone. And thankfully I, you know, I found, I found a way <laughs> I made the year work. Uh, you know, I just did what I had to do like everybody else. Um, I got enough to get by. And in the meantime, I kept making videos, but at some point I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I was just stressed out, not necessarily about like my own situation, because mine was really stable compared to a lot of people's. Uh, I had it way easier than, than most, but it just was like everything that was going on, it was just one up people after another. I saw kind of what was happening to this country as a whole, you know, on either side of the aisle, I don't really care. I just was like, I was like, man, this was, it just affected me way more than I thought it would. And I just, I didn't have the energy to put in the creative work that it takes for me to create something that I think is good enough to put out into the world. And that was a huge mistake. For three and a half months, I didn't post anything on this channel. I just, I didn't, I didn't think I was abandoning it, uh, but I just was like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I just, just didn't have it. Until I got a comment that I will probably think about honestly for the rest of my life. And I'm, I'm not gonna say his name because he doesn't want it broadcast publicly here, but he, I'll paraphrase it. Essentially he said, he quoted some philosopher that, that had said, you know, the meaning of life is whatever keeps you from killing yourself. And he went on to say, you know, in these days, just any bright moment at all is just enough to kind of get through the day. And today that was your video. So thank you. And I was like, oh my God, like I had been so kind of consumed with sort of my own situation. I forgot that, that we have an effect on the people around us. As stupid as that sounds to say out loud, it was true. I just was caught up in my own thing. And it was so motivating. And I thought, you know what? There's very little that I can do in this situation, but I can make videos and I can try to have a good time and I can try to express this thing that these instruments mean to me and to so many other people in a way that we can just kind of hang out and have a good time. And so I started making videos again. And now I look back on the year and I'm just so grateful for this channel, for the people involved in it. I got to play so many guitars. I, I made a Telecaster cry. I found someone special. I played a psych doctor and a psych patient. I called out trolls. I got abducted by aliens. I gave up amps. I failed to bond with Jazzmaster pickups. I picked a fight with Jeff Bezos. <laughs> and apparently a lot of people who like Amazon pedals. I went live and I talked to people around the world. And through it all were these two guitars and you. You. Like I said, I didn't do any of this because I was trying to like build up a channel. I just wanted, I would do this if nobody was watching it. And yet in a year, more than 4,000 people have subscribed to this channel. I can't believe that's real. And if you're watching this now and you aren't a subscriber, come join the community. It's really, really fun. I have, I think the best guitar community on the planet and it's not huge, but it's fun. And it's people who love the guitar. You know, I keep pointing out um, in my videos that it's this is not, nobody watches me because of the way I play. Uh, 
And I understand that, but I do love the fact that we can all just bond and talk about guitars and have a great time and try to lighten the load a little bit um, from kind of the realities of the world. And the fact that I get to play any kind of part in anybody's life in a positive way at all, um, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, I'm super lucky, that's all. And as we move into the continued dumpster fire that is now 2021, I hope that you will uh, join me, keep joining me. We're, I, have, I have a bunch planned for 2021. I think that I'm gonna just keep going. Um, I, like I said, I don't have any real goals with this channel other than to just have a great time with guitars. Um, but obviously, you know, I have more reviews coming out. I have some things that I think are gonna be really, really fun that are not gear based at all. Um, they're gonna be very interactive and I think a good time. Thank you for joining me for 2020 even if it was because you were more attached to my guitars than to me, I understand. But there's a lot more coming uh, from me and from these two uh, as we move into 2021. Now, as always, go play guitar.